Hey everyone, I'm Nog and welcome back to Satisfactory. At the moment our entire factory is offline and that is because we've been waiting for uh, coal to start being produced, which it is. So now we have coal power over here, which is awesome. And we have our tractor going back and forth, uh, picking up coal down at the uh, truck depot, down at the coal uh, patches and bringing it back here. To the coal plants and unloading it and it'll just keep going forever because uh, it picks up coal and uh, and it the truck station it provides uh, fuel for it uh, automatically so that is really nice so what we want to do today i think is start building up here getting uh, the uh, next uh, tier of production going which will be uh, reinforced iron plate and uh, frames and so on uh, rotors so but let's go have a look at the power situation down here uh, have a look at a power line uh, so if we look at this one uh, it shouldn't have power right now uh, no i can't i there i need to get a bit closer so right now it has a capacity of zero megawatts, but if we hook up the buildings, then we should start producing very, very nicely. So let's do that and put a power line from there to over here somewhere there. And that should power up the uh, factory. Yeah, it's going again. And all of this stuff. Oh, hey there, tractor. So there it comes, dropping off some coal. And let's just go have a look at the coal pa uh, coal power over here. So there, dropped off the coal. And in the truck station we have a ton of coal already. And there he goes. Go go, get some more coal baby. I really like this feature, it's so cool. Uh, I fixed up the path that we had from the last episode. It wasn't a very good path, so I fixed that up so that it should go straight without uh, running into pole, power poles or trees or anything like that. So yeah, and these guys are generating 50 megawatts each. So that's 150 megawatts on top of the 80 that we had from the uh, biomass. But we'll just we'll stop using bio biomass altogether and just rely on the coal power. So we probably need to build a few more coal power plants. Uh, well, we do need to build a, a few more coal power plants, but that's no problem. We can do that pretty easy. But for now, let's uh, go back to. Oh, let's uh, first let's check check the MAM and see if uh, it's researched something for us and if. If it, it, if it is done, then we can get something else going. So, all right, we have finished the alien carapaces. So that's nice. R&D has repurposed a common engineering tool to assist you in your defense against the local wildlife. The blueprint is now accessible in hub tier three. Very cool. So let's go have a look at what that is. But we could start researching the pale berries, so let's do that. And let's go have a look at up tier 3 and see what it is. Rebar gun. Cool. So we probably want to get that pretty soon. But it shouldn't be that big a deal. But first, let's go build. If we look at this uh, power line, we can see that we're now producing 230 megawatts, which probably means that one or two of our uh, biomass burners is out of fuel, but that doesn't matter because we have coal power. So let's see. What we want to do is we want to get the screws going over here and we want to get cable going over here. So we need to bring in some more 
uh, copper and some more iron. So let's do that. Let's see, we have an iron uh, miner here. So what we'll do is we'll bring that over and stick it into the slots there. And we will be producing the, um, the screws in no time. So let's find a logistics splitter and let's pop that down somewhere uh, here and get it hooked up there, there, pull it out a little bit and there. All right, and we need some power for it, so uh, let's get a power line and hook this baby up. What? Why, why wouldn't it do that? Or did it? Is it going? Yes, it is. So iron should be coming out of here any second. There it comes. Standing. And we actually need another copper patch. I wonder where there is one. Uh, let's scan for copper. There's one over here. Well, that's the one that we already got. And there's one right here. All right, very nice. So let's uh, get this copper ore. So we get the node out of the way and we can slap down a miner and get this producing. There. And in order to make a miner, we actually need a portable drill so we can pick that up. And go over here and make ourselves a miner. Uh, yeah, we have everything we need. Very good. So let's put that down there. And we need to get the belts going. Put it there. I think we'll go this way around the rock. So. Go over here. I need to put it here. All right, I actually want to put it up here because I don't like it clipping through the ground. That looks stupid. Like that. And here we go. So let's see, where is it going? It's going in there. Uh, I do want to take it up. Uh, so four and get it up there if we can. I suppose we could just take it directly up there, maybe. Uh, encroaching others' clearance. What's that? What's an encroaching? Uh, not on that side. Encroaching the miner. Alright, so let's just take it over this way and then take it up there. Basically, I'm lifting it up so that I can get under here. And, uh, let's put another pull down. Uh, we'll put it down here. And just do like that. Now we can run in. Yes, we can. Good. And we need a splitter. Hmm. All right, let's do four. Let's see, can we get it? Uh, I don't think we can get it in uh, through the wall right now. Uh, logistics, splitter. Uh, we could lift it up. So it's placed on the belt. 
let's see if we can do this. So we want a pole right out there. And oops, actually we want to lift it up a little bit. Pull right about there. Lift it up there. Run the belt. And hopefully we can just stick a splitter directly on the belt. Yes, we can. Oh, where do we want it? Hmm. We'll run this side. We want it there. And run it in here. All right. Then we just need to hook it up with some power, and we will have the copper going as well for the for the uh, cable. Should have hooked it up with power when I was over here, but um, we need a power pole. And we need cable going over there, or power line going over there. And where is this hooked up? Way over there. That's okay. We can hook that up there as well. And we should be producing copper. Yes, we are. Let's just make sure it comes out. Yes, it does. So, very good. All right. So we'll have copper coming in there, uh, running over here, and being turned into, um, what's it called, uh, cable, cable it's called. Alright, so we need a power line from there to there, and from there uh, I want to put a hole over here somewhere, like that. And hook this machine up there. And we need to hook this machine up. Why? Oh. Uh, is this already hooked up? Yes, it is. Do, do these guys have power? It doesn't look like it. They, they do. Alright, so it's just waiting for material. Let's go make sure that we have everything hooked up over here. We do not. So, we want a power pole up here. There, I think. And hook this up. And hook that up. And we want to hook this up. Oh, we also need to hook these guys up. Uh, and connect more lines to this connection, okay. But why? Oh, I guess the smelters don't have power. So we need to go hook those up as well. But other than that, I think everything is hooked up here now with power. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. Good, so let's go take a look at the smelters and make sure that they all have power. So, this guy does. Is the coal coming? Or the copper coming? Yes, it is. Uh, seems like there are some smelters that don't have power. Uh, this guy doesn't have power, I think. Uh, yes, it does. So, why isn't it going? Have I forgot? Yeah. Alright. Uh, iron ingots and copper ingots. There we go. So these are producing. Fantastic. And the copper ingots are coming along. Iron ingots are coming along there and there, 
And does this have a recipe? Yes, it does. Iron rods and iron rods and screws and screws. You have power. You have power. You two have power. And there comes the wire in the first one. Second one. Going in here. Why? Oh, oh. Uh, cable. And cable. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. All right, cable is coming out there. And cable is coming out there. Outstanding. And it's all being stored over here. Oh, we forgot to pick up this ore over here, so let's just do that. This is Sam ore. I have no idea what I need it for, but... Or if I need it for anything right now, but uh, we'll find out. Let's pick that up so that we can get some storage in for uh, the products that are in this area as well. There we go. And need some foundations there and storage containers Go that way and I want it right there yep and another one There and again. There and there. All right, let's hook them up to some belts. There, 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 and all the way over there. Do the same for this guy. wire coming out there we have screws here and we have cable over here outstanding so we need to somehow get all of these lines around and up to the next level here and I have an idea on how to do it but I'm not quite sure if it will work but uh, we'll figure that out together. Uh, right now I want to make assemblers. So what do we need to make assemblers? Uh, let's just fix up our hotbar so we don't have all of this, uh, at the moment, useless stuff. So we'll put assemblers on five. We will, p no, actually we will put splitters on five and mergers on six and production assemblers on seven and is there anything else we need right now i don't think so no all right now all right so let's get up here and see what uh, can we make any assemblers at the moment can't afford we need rotors so let's go make some of those and we'll make some frames as well so we can build in uh, more than a couple. Let's go get some uh, material down here. We definitely need screws and I think we need some rods as well and uh, that's about it. Oops. So we have some rods here. Let's get a couple of stacks of those. That. And screws. Uh, let's just grab what we can. That's not a whole lot of screws, but it's better than nothing. We can't grab that one for some reason. Oh. 
Alright, more screws. Alright. So we have some screws and we have some rods. We have a bit of iron plate as well. Uh, let's just grab a little bit more iron plate. Like that. Alright. So this should be enough to craft some of the stuff we need to build the assemblers. And what exactly did we need to build the assemblers? We needed rotors and we need frames and cable. Alright, so rotors, we can make 16 of those right now. Let's just make those. And then we need to make some screws because we are out. Make some of those. How many do we have now? It's a 500 there. Make some. What do we need for the modular frames? Yeah, we need a reinforced iron plate. So let's make that. Alright, modular frames. Alright. Uh, let's see, how many can we make now? So if we say seven, then we can make uh, four. If we make a few more rotors, then we can make some more. Uh, then we can build five. So let's just make some rotors. There we go. All right. So let's get up here and see what this guy looks like. And I think I want it there. Yeah. And then we can put one like this up here and keep going over like that there I wonder if I hope the belt can get in there let's just try it uh, Just see. It cannot. Dang it. All right. What if we, we need to move these forward a bit, I think. So if we do like, like this maybe? I want to build over here as well to test it. Where is the? Where does it line up? Come on, line up. There it lines up. Ah. So let's see. Can we get two lines of built? In between here, I think we can. And approaching. Dang it! This one is fine. Why is this one encroaching? One further over. Yeah, it is. So let's uh, delete this and say move you over there. 
And then we should be able to get both of them in there. Yes. So this one is going straight. I wonder... I really wish we could get this one to go straight as well. All right, never mind. But that is uh, my thinking that we'll have the machine spaced like this. So uh, let's just uh, set up another one. You can afford one more. We'll set it up uh, there. And we can get all of this going. So what can we make in these? We can make reinforced iron plate, rotors, and modular flame frames. So 12 seconds to make a reinforced iron plate. And it takes four iron plate, 20 per minute, and 120 screws per minute. That's a lot of screws. I uh, wonder how many we're making per minute. Uh, so one reinforced iron plate, five per minute. That is not a lot of reinforced iron plate. But we can overclock and stuff. So but I think what I want to do is set up two for reinforced iron plate, two for rotors, two for modular frames. And rotors. And whoops. Rotors. And then we actually need to set one up over here. Let's just tear this one down. We'll need one more over here for the uh, for the modular frames, which need uh, reinforced iron plate and rods. So. We're already going to be using our reinforced iron plate that we'll be making here. Hmm. Okay. Let's uh, set this up. Something like that, I think. That should work. And what we can actually do, and what what I think I want to do, I don't remember. Are these two meters or four meter high? Uh, I don't actually remember. Let's just go have a look. These are two meters. Let's just the foundations. I don't mind having a bit of overhang here, that's no big deal. I think I might actually like it, like it quite a bit. So let's do one more overhang. So we get a bit of space up here. And we don't, don't have enough concrete on us to finish it up, but that's okay. So we'll have all of this production up here, and then uh, we don't actually need. Hmm. I'm thinking that we'll set up some more over here uh, for this tier of production, uh, because I don't think that outputting one or two machines is going to be enough. But uh, yeah. All right, let's uh, run down and take a look at how we want to get the, um, the conveyor belts 
around and up there. Hmm. I was thinking that if we tear this down, can we then build whoops, uh, walls? One of these. Uh, and I want that thing on the outside. Can this go from there and up there? No, it cannot. So what we'll have to do is run the conveyor out here somewhere. Uh, let's just, uh, let's get some concrete. And let's uh, figure it out. Actually, this uh, episode has gone on for uh, about half an hour now, so I think it'll be a project for the next episode to get the conveyor belts uh, going up there. Uh, let's get some concrete there. So let's just go uh, take a look up here and finish the episode with a nice view. of everything that we've got going here. I think this is going to be really nice. I really I really think so. Very cool. And our beautiful beautiful coal power over there. All right, uh thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.